When you prepared for this game, when you looked at them on film, what concerned you the most about South Florida? What was your biggest area of focus coming in? Nothing. Nothing? No concern at all. This is a team that won the conference tournament last year and, and was right behind you in the standings, and there's no area of their game that that you were particularly keyed in on? Last year is last year. They're behind us for a reason this year, so there was no concern whatsoever. Any this is got very disappointed that we couldn't get three points out of it, but we'll take a point. Any concern coming in about maybe a hangover from the other night when you beat Central Arkansas 7-0? No, not at all. It actually, it kind of worked out a little better because uh, a lot of the players got some some rest, and uh, you know, overall, we're just disappointed that we didn't get the three point tonight because we felt that you know this team is not better than us. You know, right now we feel like we're better in our conference, and this is Westcott. We always defend Westcott and always try to get three points out of it. And one point tonight was not sufficient, and that's that right now. Twice tonight, you fall behind, and then you were able to rally. What was the key to being able to come back and tie it up twice? Well, that's just the attitude and the mentality of the group. Young group, but very, very, very mature. We talked about it. First half, we went down, of course, and then came back in the, in the second half, got it back, and then went down once again, and then got it another back, and then game started to switch around a little bit. We were, we we're all over them a little bit, in my opinion, at least. And then uh, we went first overtime and second overtime. It's unfortunate that we couldn't, couldn't seal the deal and get the three points. You scored the tying goal on a set piece assist from Jared Rice. Walk through that goal. Was he specifically aiming at you or just trying to get it in the area and you happened to get your head on it? Uh, well, it's just the area, just a certain area. They put it there and then there's a couple runners, me, Mauro, um, uh, Garrett, and, and Jordan Connor. So whoever ends up at the spot, I guess, gets to finish it. And I ended up being the one tonight. And very thankfully, I was, I was able to go in. So. Very proud of it. It got a little bit rough there in the second half. Do you think they were trying to intimidate you guys since you have so many young players on your team? I hope they weren't because they had the wrong idea. You got in a little bit of a discussion, I guess, after Abdul got stepped on. Is it hard to restrain yourself when you when it gets physical like that? Absolutely. You try to keep your keep your composure, but then you can't just stand back and look at your teammates just getting getting pushed around unfairly, you know, they feel like you got to be there and have their back and you have to do it and try to keep you cool with it, but sometimes it gets hard and you lose your head and it was just a heat of the moment, but just try to stay away from it most of the times. Through the second half and even into overtime, it seemed like South Florida was, the goalie was holding the ball for a long time or they would walk to go pick it up out of bounds. Do you think they were playing for a tie, satisfied to come in here and try to steal a point? No, no doubt, definitely. I feel like they were out of the game. Halfway through the second half, they were tired, so they wanted no part of this game. After we came back twice, I think they were they were just hoping to get a tie out of this today. Get out of get out of here. <laughs> you get the tie. I know you want to win every night, but you're still in first place. Yeah. Satisfied with the way the night went overall? Not satisfied, but we'll take it. You know, it's better than zero points because this one point keeps us ahead of them. They're still only one point behind us, so. We'll definitely take the tie. It's better than a loss any day, but it's still a little disappointing that we couldn't get all three in our bags tonight.